All right, good morning, everybody. So this is the Crescent City Connection. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive it is, uh, but it is kind of foggy right now. Of course, don't forget the cameras are up a little higher in the air, so it's going to look worse than what it actually looks like on the actual ground level. So I do have rain in the forecast for you. Just a few scattered showers. The rain chances for today very low. So if you do have any um, Veterans Day plans for today, maybe you're heading out to the cemetery to pay honor. Uh, this is what you can expect, 70s. Some small chances for rain. I do think a lot of us will stay on the drier side. As far as what's on radar right now, a few light showers. Most of the rain going to be just off the shore. Plaquemines Parish, you're also looking at some showers too. So Boothville likely going to get a good chance for some rain today. Now zooming in, some likely going to be for the marshland areas. Also Delacroix looking at some rain. Hope Dell just to the south of you looking at rain. Bell Chase too. Let's talk about Raphael. Raphael, it ended over the weekend, but we're still looking at the remnants of it left over. Do you want to give a quick update on what's happening with the, another area of interest here in the tropics? We're looking at a 40% chance of seeing some development as we are heading into the next seven days. So likely by the time you get to the end of the week, tropical depression will develop. This is likely going to move to the west. We'll keep watching it though. Here's the bigger picture, the big setup of this or the remnants of Raphael. We are watching a cold front that will start to move in. So that cold front, of course, you know, get some moisture along the cold front, but it's also going to kind of help to draw some of the moisture up from Raphael too. And that's going to bring us a good amount of rain for Wednesday. So Wednesday, that's already an impact day for us. We're talking about good amount of rain falling and a low end chance of seeing some severe weather. We'll talk about that. Wind speeds this morning, about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we still have that coastal flood advisory in effect until 9 a.m. Winds coming out of the east, but they're shifting now coming from the northeast. So we'll likely see this in here shortly. As far as visibility goes, getting worse up in Bogalusa. So Kentwood likely going to be talking about some visibility issues as well. Everybody else uh, looking at maybe five to seven miles of visibility. Rain chances over the next 12 hours. Again, most of the rain going to be Plaquemines Parish just off the shore. As you get further and further inland, though, your chances for rain will start to go down a little bit. Here's timing it all out. Most of us going to be on the mostly cloudy side as it gets to 9 a.m. Still mostly confined to the shore. We'll see a few scattered showers here and there as we go throughout the day, but I don't think it's going to be a complete washout for today. Just know you could run into some showers a little bit later on, but if you're heading out in the water or you work offshore, just know probably going to see some rain. Highs for today will be into the upper 70s, the lower 80s. This is still well above average. This is about 5 to almost 10 degrees above average. Getting into Tuesday, most of us are fine, but I am looking at Tuesday night into your early Wednesday morning. That's when we'll see a good chance of rain moving in. As I was mentioning, remnants of Raphael plus that cold front moving in. So this is when we could have some heavy rain moving in. Here's a look at the rest of your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. More 70s, slightly bumping up 80s for Wednesday and Thursday. And then that cold front, we're into the 70s by Friday and Saturday. Right